Well, I mean, because. I don't really think he can do anything for you if he doesn't hardly know how to brawl yet. And you're a pretty tough brawler, Ashlyn. I thought you could probably practice and just... I, I thought you could really practice on your own and probably get yourself in the tournament. No, Jared, I can't get in the tournament myself. You don't even realize how hard it is to get into the tournament and how hard I've worked. So yeah, of course I'm going to need help from other people to get into the tournament. And I said I was going to teach that kid how to brawl if he does help me, if he helps me into the tournament. But he doesn't know how to brawl yet, Ashlyn. I think the point is, you help him learn how to brawl, and then, before he helps you go to the tournament. What? He wanted to help me get into the tournament? And it won't be much longer before the day of the tournament. It's only two days away. So right now it's too late to teach Alex how to professionally brawl and all that stuff at a time like this. Take everything I got to learn how to brawl like this in way more than just two days. Well, even if that's true, can't you ask someone who knows how to brawl help you get into the tournament? Who else can I ask? There's nobody who knows how to brawl like me. I don't know. Like I said, maybe help yourself get into the tournament. There's no way I'm going to help myself get into this thing. To get into an event like this, I'm probably going to need help from a lot of people. The Wii Fit Trainer, everybody I've worked with on Smash Bros. You can't just without a doubt expect me to get into the tournament with no help, just because of how strong I am and how good I can brawl. It's going to take a lot more effort and a lot more training and a lot more exercising for me to get into a tournament like this. You know how big and strong those people actually are that are that have fun the tournament? How strong they, How much stronger they are actually than I am? But Ashlyn, you really don't know if you've never found the tournament for yourself. She's right, Ashlyn. You shouldn't be afraid of failing. Be afraid of not having the chance. You have the chance. Those other people that got into the tournament didn't have a chance at all. And plus, you're saying that those people that got into the tournament and nobody can beat them, well, none of us around here can beat you. Like, literally, no one on Smash Bros. can beat you. No other video game can beat you. So what's going to make you any different from those past fighters that got into the tournament? Well, I mean, because even though the past, even though those past fighters and winners that got into the tournament, um, they, they really worked, um, really hard, twice as hard as I did to get into the tournament and stuff like that. And nobody else could beat them, but I'm pretty sure they still got into the tournament with, with help from more than just, you know, one person. Not all of them. But I still need a family and friends here to support me and help me get into the tournament. I can't do everything by myself, you know? That's what we are trying to do, um, Ashlyn. We're helping you into the tournament by giving you a lot of encouragement and pushing you to keep moving forward and keep going and going and helping you strengthen up. And plus, Ashlyn, anytime you have any questions or anything, you can you know you can always come and ask any of us, right? Wait, really? Yeah, of course. If you ever have a question, just ask me. You can ask me, you can ask mom, you can ask dad. You can even ask your twin sister, Alaya. We're all your family. Thanks, Jared. But I certainly don't think going to Alaya would be much help. Really? You're not going to go to Alaya for anything? What makes you say that? Jared, seriously, I think you should know the reason for that. Yeah, but she's still your family, Ashlyn, and I'm pretty sure it's important to still go to her for a few things. Sure, but I work my butt off getting into this tournament. And because of all the stuff that I work for, Elias certainly wouldn't be much help. And we already know and even see that if I go to Elias for anything, how that's going to end off. Soft Blanky. Nice Blanky. See, Jared, ask a lie anything, she'll already give you the answer. Yeah, but I mean, a lie is still family. But you know if you have any questions, you could still ask me. Don't worry about a lie. We'll still, give you, give you, we'll still give you the advice and confidence you need to get you into the tournament. I can respect that, Jared. Thank you. What are those kids doing? Kids, you need to come get your stuff. You guys are going to be late for school. That's mom. We got to go get our stuff. Come on. Come on, Aliyah. 
Let me just say one more goodbye to my Blankie. I love you, Blankie. See you when I get home from school. We're here, Mom! But where is Elias? She's gonna make us late! Sorry, everyone. Thanks for waiting. Alright, kids. Now get your book bags and stuff. We gotta get you guys off to school. Alright, kids. So we've done our greeting songs. We've did our... We did our gym class warm-up and stuff like that. We stretched and all that stuff. Now let's get on with school. Except for one thing, I have no clue where Ashlyn and Aliyah are. It's not really like it's not really like them to be late for school like this. Maybe it's possible had they had a rough morning. I don't know, Kyle. But I've never seen well. I've seen Aliyah late a couple of times, but I've never seen Ashlyn this late. Well, I don't know about Ashlyn, but maybe the possible reason of Aliyah being late is because she's probably busy snuggling around with that blanket of hers. Farley, I think in the spirit of our kindergarten class, we should be kind to others just because they have a lot of insecurities. Well, there's no harm in saying, right? I know, but... Let's just try not to make any bold statements about anyone else, okay?